Hello and welcome to another four minute Muppet Madness, your daily roundup of the latest news and information from reliable sources around United and what is happening today. We have a lot to cover in this one. It has been a busy day. It's been a busy few days and things have been picking up. Uh, I did post a video kind of wrapping up and rounding up all the news. That was longer this morning of everything. I posted a video on the new structure of United relevant to the news that came out over the last weekend while I was away. Um, as well as did a live to discuss things as everything kind of kicked off all at once. But let's talk about the latest and greatest news. Um, first and foremost, we have Joshua Xerxes. This technically comes from last night, but I wanted to cover it. Um, there was a report that United had decided to trigger the clause in Xerxes. The understanding I had was that he had not yet, they had not yet decided to trigger the clause of Xerxes, but they were close to a deal. Um, what I meant by this tweet was they're in talks. They've told them they will. If they're not open to negotiating a deal wherein, you know, they pay a little bit more, but spread it out over time. And that's pretty normal with release clauses. And as Fabrizio says here, um, Man United and Bologna will decide shortly which way they prefer to complete the deal. They've agreed to terms. They can trigger the clause to be paid in one solution or they can stretch it out. So there's two potential options there. But either way, essentially, the deal is there. It's going to be done. Um, in addition... Uh, understanding that uh, uh, Olympic Marseille have uh, Marseille have sent formal bid to Manchester United for Mason Greenwood. This is from Romano talks underway between the two clubs. Greenwood's is still their main target with agreement getting closer. Open a loan with obligation to buy sell on clause included. There'll be more to that in a minute. Um, Manchester United very close to agreeing with deal with Bologna striker. This is from Sammy Mockbell and Simon Jones, but also says a surprise move for Chelsea left back. Ben Chilwell, just a link as of now, nothing too major. David Ornstein then reports that Mason Greenwood has reported to Carrington this morning for a short meeting with Manchester United executives, did not train, discussed the latest on finding a new club, then left Marseille in poll after they and Lazio made firm offers and entered advanced talks. So it looks like he is going to head to Marseille, and there's more coming on that. I'm kind of going in, in chronological order here. Uh, but let's go to Wheeler, and we'll come back to him in a minute. Um, he has said that United were close to ending the Greenwood discussion, that he was close to joining Marseille. Uh, he mentioned somewhere here, confirmed Marseille's offer is £27 million, and they would likely use this to make their next move. Their next move was, as Wheeler put it, and as he broke, uh, an improved offer of £45 million plus £5 million for Everton defender Gerard Braithwaite. This was, as I understand it, rejected out of hand. Um, this was confirmed as well by El Babel, tier one source for Everton News. Um, he said that it was rejected as well. It was rejected. They, they didn't want it. Um... In other news, this is a very, very good source in Turkey, says Manchester United scouting teams have started to prepare a report for Ferdi Kadioglu. They're planning to meet Ferdi in the coming days. Four teams from the Premier League are interested. Manchester United will start attempts to buy him in the coming days. That is a really good source in Turkey to take note of. It's very interesting. He said it in a video here. And um, United need a left back. So, a lot happening. Essentially, if we round it up, um, Xerxes about done. Uh, Greenwood returned, but is likely to be sold to Marseille very soon for a certain amount of money. United wanted to use that money to make another bid for Braintweight, which was rejected. They're looking at left backs. Now the question becomes, what do they do with the money from, from Greenwood with that rejection? Do they increase the bid more, or do they move on to the midfield, to the left back, to something else? Um, and that will be some of the questions we have for tomorrow. Um, otherwise, in the video that I posted um let me just scroll down new structure but also i want to mention this i will post a couple of clips but news on uh matthias de Litt, the discussion and where things are at is in there as united are discussing the add-ons and structure with Bayern, and that seems to be getting closer and almost done um in addition talked about Jaden sancho as his situation is still up in the air. He's not necessarily conflicting about whether he's supposed to return today or not. Maybe next week, maybe later. At some point, he's supposed to return. Hasn't as of yet. And there's no move that is quite there yet. And it's still going to be a discussion of what happens next. 
um, it is not totally resolved. So we'll have to see what happens with all of that upcoming. But that was your roundup for today. I managed it in five minutes. It was a lot. Hopefully you found this information useful. Thank you to everybody for liking, commenting, subscribing. Um, please turn notifications on. We have the ability to join as a membership now as a member and participate in the live streams and priority question answering and things that some people have been asking for. So I have turned that on and tried to add a few features for that if you want to support the channel. But thank you all for watching. That's my fourth video today. I will try to keep up the content throughout the week and the information. And I appreciate all of you for watching. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.